Hi guys, it's Melissa Q. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you're an OG, thanks so much for coming back over and over again. So um, yeah, before we get into this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would love for you guys to do that if you are new. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. It's going to let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And today's video, we are going to do a haul report but it is going to be putting it on my face. Now I have been trying these since the Sephora VIB. So basically as I'm putting them on, I'm letting you know what I thought about them, how I liked them, or I'm giving you like many reviews because a lot of these were like repurchases for me. I did have a, some new ones, but let's jump right in. This is the Bite Beauty. This is the Agave Kit. So it has a scrub, it has the mask, the overnight mask, and it has a balm. Now. Uh, you can use this balm overnight, but I found it better to put it on and then it be one of those things that you put take off um, before liquid lipstick because it's kind of thick and it definitely hydrates the skin. Almost like you can't like wipe it on just like I did. I was about to say you have to kind of dab it because it's like very thick and it will leave a thin film both me and cj purchased this and we, and we were talking about that so um yeah the scrub is really good but i feel like you know what to be honest with you i feel like that this is something that definitely can be homemade i've um this is like honey and brown sugar and like maybe coconut oil or vitamin e oil you can kind of make this a diy let me know if you guys want to see that but this is an agave uh exfoliant and it's an agave sugar lip scrub so basically agave nectar honey this is amazing this was only 20 bucks this in its full size I think is about 26 a little bit goes a long way and it's amazing and it says this lasts for 24 months it doesn't say how long this one lasts but you have to use bite beauty pretty quickly so I'm thinking if this is 24 months, I would not keep this long, but I definitely still like it. I even like the 10, which I'm going to use afterwards. But I feel like that you definitely get your money's worth with this. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and moisturize on my skin. No, I'm going to cleanse my skin. I didn't even, this is what I do in the morning, you guys, with cleaning my skin. So I repurchased my Shiseido cotton pads. This is not the new one. I always like get a backup. That's probably one of the things that I don't want to like run out of completely. And I use uh, quite often, like every day. And those are the Shiseido cotton pads. So I will take a gloss glycolic acid so i'll take a glycolic acid i am using a new one i'm trying out well that's not i try it out but i've been using it and i love it and it's the dharma e radiance toner so i just wipe that over my face in the morning because i am dry this is kind of like cleaning my skin taking off the dead skin cells and toning my skin at the same time so I just run that along my neck, my face, my forehead. I especially go over places that I get pores or breakouts. And when I'm having a hormonal breakout, I usually break out around my chin. So I make sure I get that really, really well. and we are done now the thing i love about these is because i always flip it over and use the other side but as you can tell i don't get a film i don't get like the little cottony things on my face and it's just annoying you know i know the other ones are cheaper but honestly once you try these and try to go back which i've tried you probably gonna be like no nah, girl Shiseido. A lot of you guys were asking about the Donna Karen cashmere. This retails for $27. I was like, girl, yes. But so many people were talking about this and it sold out during the Sephora VIB. Hold please. Okay, so what do I think about this? That's a lot of money for a deodorant, right? Y'all, this is good. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Y'all, I took a shower. 
I take a shower every day, by the way. I took a shower and I could still smell this the next day. And Forrest was like, you smell really good. This is like a sophisticated, like if powder was like a, a elegant woman, that's how this smells. And it's like to the point where even if you like put this on and you ran out the house forgetting to put on perfume, you would be okay. It's not like heavily scented, but you can like get a whiff of it. You know, if you are like working and it kept me dry all day. So this is a winner. Unfortunately, it is not, it's one of those, it does not, uh, let me see. It has aluminum zirconium. So it's an antiperspirant. So it's not, it's not, um, y'all, it's not one of those like aluminum free type of deodorants, but the healthy deodorant, I actually have in my purse. I'm not gonna take it out, but that's by, by La Vanilla. I will put, post a picture in this video and let you guys know the sport is my favorite. Okay, I got the ones before, but the sport actually kept me dry all day. So I highly recommend that one. But this, if you are into antiperspirants, this is good. And yes, I would repurchase it again. I am looking for another antiperspirant that will keep me dry. But the only one that I know of right now is La Vanilla. I've tried some aluminum free. I do have a kit to like do a... a underarm detox or something and i'm thinking about doing that i just have not that one is one you gotta like commit to you know what i mean so while i'm waiting for this to dry joe malone london amazing amazing so i'm gonna spray some of this on this is the wood sage and sea salt cologne and so i'll, I'll only need a little bit that's all i'm gonna spray because this is strong, okay? I talked about this in gift giving. This is an amazing kit. It's the Luscious and Lively Trio. So that's what that is. Okay, before ending this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Afterglow. Now, I know I didn't show this in my Sephora VIB. I totally forgot, but I was able to get this with the 20% off because it actually launched the last day of the sale so i'm going to actually put this on these are the colors and y'all this reminds me a lot of my sweet palette by anastasia so let me know if you want me to come with a full review but let me show you the swatches of these but these are the swatches i'm sorry you guys um, my camera actually cut off on my last video and I did not realize it until the end and yeah so it cut off but I wanted to finish talking about this I am going to talk about the ABH sweets glow palette in comparison to this because the colors look very similar but um yeah I wanted to come with that a little bit later so that's all I got from the VIB sale and pretty much I liked everything and I would repurchase everything because most of them, not most of them, I didn't get a lot, but the Jo Malone perfume I love and the palette, everything. I got actually got this 20% off and it was the first day that I launched. So I was really happy that I got this new launch on sale. Why y'all didn't tell me I had lipstick on the side? And this was a new launch and I really, really am glad that I got this. Although it looks very similar, I can tell a difference. That's why I want to come with a comparison video. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know what you got in the Sephora VIB sale. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.